are back here in the Central Hall. We are at booth 16 by 9. I'm here with Mr. James Lee, VP and CTO of 16 by 9. How are you doing today, James? Doing well, doing well. Thank you for joining me today. How's NAB been going so far? It's been great so far. It's great to be back and seeing all the old faces that we haven't seen in a long time. So it's, it's fun to be here again. Now, how many years have you been at NAB, or how many years has 169 been represented? Do you uh, know? 169, we're going to be at about 25 years that we've been coming here. So it's it's a, it's a good amount of time that we've actually been here. Yeah, it's the 100th year of NAB, so I'm breaking the ice with that question every time. Yeah, so it's just so yeah. interesting to see how long so many people have been here. And yeah. They've all got me beat. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's good to see. And being here again, just being able to show the new product and technology and sharing with customers, we love it and appreciate it. So. Yeah, 16 by 9 has so many cool gizmos and gadgets today. I think we should start with the cages. Does that sound good? Sure, sure. All right, so, so we're going to do a little bit of a demo over here. What do you got for us? Well, this is actually called uh, the Swiss cage. And it's, uh, of course, because it comes from uh, Switzerland. And it's, uh, the brand is called Optimus, Optimus Gear. And the idea behind this is that everyone always has to get a new cage every time they get a new camera. And the, the problem with that is nobody wants to keep getting a new ca cage every time. So this is designed to be a little bit more universal in the fact that parts will actually transfer from camera to camera to camera. And you can keep the top handle uh, a sliding plate or an accessory bar mount, keeping it the same with, with across so many different camera versions, whether it's a RED camera, an Airy camera, a Sony camera. The main difference between it is a top uh, spacer piece and a bottom spacer piece. Okay. So when those are mounted for each camera, then all the different parts can actually interact with each other. So you've got sliding plates, handles, sidebars, just about anything that you can use between one camera system. So if you own multiple cameras, you're not having to have so many cages for each camera system. Convenient. Yeah, so like we have one here for for a Venice. Um, we also have one for Red, a Komodo, a Raptor, even for a DSLR. Like this DSLR system here allows you That's to use multiple DSLR. camera. Yeah, so the back can slide and adjust depending on what you want to add to the back accessories. The riser plate here goes up and down to help for lens centering, whether it's a Canon camera, a Nikon camera, or a Sony camera. So it makes it quite universal for everybody. So for somebody who's new to cinema and cages in general, why do we need cages on our cameras? Cages are for accessories. It's for accessories and protection. So you want to protect the camera in certain instances, but also at the same time, you're creating an area for so many accessories to be mounted, whether it could be a recorder or it could be a wireless transmitter, a monitor, hand grips, or even plates to adapt to other systems. So like if you're going to run a gimbal or you're going to run it onto a crane, you need, you need mounting points. So that's what the cage system does because a lot of cameras don't offer that. That makes total sense. So what types of accessories you mentioned some of them um, are, are most frequented on these devices? Mostly it's going to be cameras, transmitters. So if, if, you're, if you're running transmitters, you want somewhere to be able to mount it directly onto and then you run your cables. The other thing that you're going to be doing is power. So you've got to power your systems because cameras sometimes have the smaller batteries. They can't handle the, the power of accessories that need to go onto there. So you can use larger batteries. Mm -hmm. And then you also have powering ports that you can power in all your accessories that you're adding onto the cage. That is key to have that redundancy there. You don't want your power failing in the middle of a crucial shot. Right, right. And there's also little features on here that allow for standard horizontal shooting or if you're working with some a company like Facebook who wants vertical ads done. So the camera can be mounted vertically, so now instead of having to find some way to rig it, it allows you to do that with a simple cage system that's already there. So Cinema is thinking about 9 by 16. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting to me. Yeah, is that it's, new? It's, it's, it's all different applications. So it depends on the creativity of the talent that's using it. So that's why we want to give as much flexibility with the system as so possible. So next year you're going to be 16 by 9 and 9 by 16. <laughs> very well could be. So can we take a look at this unit up here and just sure. show me some examples of what we're looking at that's attached to the cage? Right. So on the cage itself here, you can see we actually have what's called a rosette position here. This is actually movable between anywhere on the system. So the rosette will actually allow you to add hand grips, or there's other accessories that work with rosettes, like monitor mounts, recorder mounts. So you can transfer to different parts of the system. The cage all has key point 3 threaded mounted positions or quarter 20. Um, what you also have is the ability to add a universal handle here that's universal across all the products here. So it's the same handle that you're seeing, 
but we can combine them, interconnect them, and like this here, we can put them at tilted angles, so when you're shooting and your hand naturally rotates at an angle, you can actually control the camera very comfortably on a tripod. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. It's, me, it's, a, it's a product of convenience, it seems. Absolutely. And organization. Yes, and quickness, you know, on production, you want to be as quick as possible, and it saves you time wherever you can. So even like if you're taking it off to carry it, if you have a long lens on here, this whole system can slide forward and back. Ah, that makes So sense. it really adjusts for you as, as you're working on the job. Now, do these systems integrate with the spines, the backpacks that we're gonna talk about in a minute? It can, yes. All right, yes. so why don't we step over there and take sure. a look at that, do you mind? Mm -hmm. So we can start over here and then we're okay. gonna, we've got a demo uh, person coming over sure. as well. So what are we looking at? This here is the EaseRig system. And the EaseRig system is a, is a universal camera support system that's designed for the operator wear. It's a very usual piece that you see on most productions, uh, sports programs, documentaries, you name it, it's been used everywhere. Uh, we see them on a lot of movies. And we have a lot of variations of them. So we have something like this here, which is designed for small cameras that go from about six pounds up to 15 pounds. And we have systems that could cover all the way up to 77 pounds. Wow. So depending on how heavy of a camera you want, we've got a rig that can cover that for you. That's amazing. And we're going to do a demo in just a minute. But I got to say to Ryan, if you're watching from Broadcast B, we've got to get these for our cameramen next year, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll save your back. That's for sure. It, no pun intended. It'll mm -hmm. save your back in more ways than one. Yeah. Hey, if my colleague Paul would come over here. I, I, just, oh, I, was just wearing <laughs> it. I want to see what it looks like. I see what it looks like. Can you, can you show? All right, sorry. You were getting buckled in here, and we're going to get a live demo. Woo. So, so what are we, so what are we looking at? What are the pieces here? Well, it's first is a very simple operator vest system, and we have multiple versions. Like right now, this is called the Gimbal Flex. It's primarily designed for a female operator, but we also have standard versions that are designed for for any general operator. But this gives more comfort to a female operator, but it can be, still be worn by a male operator. It's just a smaller fit. Now, is that, why? Mm -hmm. that explains a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that explains a lot, he says. So the system actually attaches the camera directly to him. Now it suspends the weight so you can see the camera floats and allows him to have a little bit more flexibility with creativity. He has more assurance as he's working with the camera and he, create, he can get more creative shots with it. So you can go up high, you can go shoulder mount, you can go low angle. It gives you a lot of flexibility with it. Is this some sort of like ergonomic design? Is this gonna save people's, you know, from getting back pain and shoulder pain? Yeah, because if, if you're constantly holding a camera, it's very hard. Some cameras go, like I said, between 11 pounds sometimes starting, and other times you could be easily 50 pounds. And if you're putting that on your shoulder and you're shooting for long periods, like your operator is doing right now, um, you have to constantly shift your weight to try to support that heavy weight on your shoulder, so it's fatigue that wears down. So this helps take that weight and distribute it across the shoulders, the back, and the waist, so it makes it easy for the operator to be comfortable and shoot longer periods of time and also not have back problems. Can you turn around, Paul? I want to take a look at the back of this. So what are we looking at back here? What's this What's This, this is what we call, uh, this is the Vario system. And this is the, what we call the power pack, and then this is the upper bar. So the upper bar has variations. If you want to use it with a gimbal, we have one that actually does rebounding. Uh, we also have one that's fixed length for shoulder shooting. We also have one that has adjustability in the front where the line can go further forward or back. So if you want the camera further away from you, you could be operating a, fo a floating camera directly out in front instead of just on your shoulder. This also allows you to adjust the weight. So there's a little tool here you put in, and then it changes the resistance in it so that you can fine tune the camera that when you pull it down, it actually floats and stays at position. Wow, mm -hmm. that is amazing. And I also see you have a little water pouch here. Oh yeah, it's, it's an accessory pouch. Our operator's using it for water. You can carry batteries in there. You wanna carry a walkie. You can carry a lot of different things into there. So it's, it's removable, but it gives you a little option to carry accessories with you. Before we close out with bags, is there anything else about this unit that we should share? Um, if you're looking to run it with gimbals, it's compatible with it. They have an easy tilt system that works with gimbals, so it's very easy to float with it. Uh, there's other accessories like quick mounts uh, that allow you to attach to, to the cameras very quickly, or like this, a standard hook that is allows you to put on any camera handle that's out there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Paul, for doing that with us. All right, so we're going to take a look at one final thing over here, the bags. Does that sound good? Sure. All right, let's step over here and take a look. So which one do you think would be best to share? And, and what are these bags going to be for? We're going to give them a minute just to get that prepared for you guys. What are we looking at here? 
this is called the Orca, Orca Bag Lines, and the Orca Bag actually covers quite a few different uh, a series of, of necessary needs. So we have bags that cover anywhere from, from camera storage or transport to lens to audio to uh, tripods to grip equipment. So depending on what you're looking for, Orca probably has a bag to cover you on that. They even have sandbags, accessory bags, and they're all made of the highest quality of materials but the biggest factor to them is that they're very protective. Like the, this particular is, system is made out of cordura and foam, but they also have frames into them. So some of them have aluminum frames, some of them have PVC frames into them. So when you're throwing it into your, your cart with gear, it protects your equipment. So they look soft and squishy, but there's actually a sturdy frame under there. That is correct, yes. Mm -hmm. So for people that are on the show floor today and watching this, where can they find 16 by 9? Uh, they can find us on the website. Uh, our website is uh, www.16x9inc.com. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today, James. I thank really you. appreciate it. <laughs>